Mina-san, konnichiwa. This is David. And Mina. And this afternoon, we are unboxing the new 35th anniversary revive edition of the RX-78-2 Gundam. Ooh. Yeah, this is uh, sort of exciting. Um, it's the launch of the new revive HG line. To celebrate 35 years of Gundam. Yes, specifically 35 years of Gunpla. Um, this is the 35th anniversary of the toys. Mm. I mean, it's not a big difference. They came out later in the year. So this is Gundam year. older or younger than me? Gundam is older than you. Okay. No, toys. The toys. Yeah, they're older than you. Oh, okay. Good yeah. Good. yeah. But not by much. Okay, and so, just a little shot here. This is, um, you know, these are very iconic poses. This is all very classic stuff. This is an RX-78 too. This is not, you know... Quintessential Gundam. Yes, this is, this is the classic. Very simple stuff here. Um... But the idea is it's a whole new rebuild with a new frame and all of that. Um, so it's, it's its own new animal. It's not a new frame. It's not a, the same pieces. No, it is not. It is not. This is new technology, effectively. Mm -hmm. So here's our first bag full of runners. Orange, blue. Yeah. Um, our polycaps look pretty much the same. Um, now this is this is an incremental increase. This is not completely new. Um, this is learning lessons over 35 years. So this is an evolution, not a not a reinvention. And there's our beam sabers. They definitely look a little cleaner than the old ones, but not a lot. Like they're 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 just what they are. One thing um, that stands out immediately is that these colors are nice. Um, the, the red, the blue, and the yellow here. These are very clean, very, very vibrant colors. They remind me a lot of the modern Build Fighters line. And, of course, that's obvious for the reason. And this is injection, so this piece is red all the way through, even under the knobs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are all injection molded, fully injection molded. There's no coating or anything like that. This is, this is all like that. Um, also, there's the lovely clear green for the eyes. Or yellow, depending. Yeah, it's just sort of yellow. I don't know. It is. Okay. Now we have our white runner. This is not white white. This is just like sort of an off white. Yeah. The, yeah. It's a nice color. It's De looking really white on the camera, but in real life, it's definitely an ivory. Yes. Yes. The important thing to note about this, I guess, is that um, it's not white white, so it's not going to blemish really easily. Mm -hmm. Um, this should last you a little longer. It's than... not going to age to this color. It just starts at this color. Yeah, yeah. And it's and it's a flatter color. So, you, you know, even the older kits that would age to almost this color, they, they are not going to be as, um, as flat. And... and it just seems like a more reasonable color for you to build a giant robot out of. And here is our frame, our hands, all of that, our, mm -hmm. our guns. So really, this okay. is, um, if you don't count the polycaps and you don't count the beam sabers, this is three runners. Yep. It's a very simple kit. Um, a good starter kit. It is definitely a good starter kit. It, it appears to be a good starter kit. We'll see how the pieces fit together. Huh? Now we have, we do have a couple of stickers. These are not very pronounced. Yeah. We have our eyes. We have, um, I don't even know what those are. And then we have our little insignia there. Mm. A couple of red ones. This is not a very sticker heavy kit. I approve. Yep. Um, Let's take a look at our booklet. Lovely line, winded line. Panel line. Panel line. Yes. Um, they are, of course, showing off all of our classic poses and things like that. Um, it is very simple. I mean, it's an HGRX 782. This is not a kit that you expect to be challenged by. And there you go. I missed the build fighter. You the know. little tips. <laughs> the little tips. Yeah, I know. That's that's definitely something I. Yeah. Okay. So there we go. There's the RX seventy eight two um, revive edition. I will try to put up how a much, review. How much did it cost us? Uh, about nine hundred yen, which so, is about seven fifty. Super cheap. Yeah, there, it's a it's a nice cheap kit, um, and it came out with a companion gun cannon. Yeah. Um, which is kind of cool. Um, and it, it was like a dollar more, basically. The um, 
the other thing that I know Gundam Ace is going to be releasing an exclusive kit um, that is going to have an expansion for the Gundam Javelin and the Gundam Hammer. Mm -hmm. And that's supposed to be coming out any time. So if you want the stupidest weapon in the Gundam universe, you can get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Gundam Hammer and the Gundam, Gundam Javelin um, will, will exist in exclusive form. All right, so there we go. Um, I will also be doing an opening of the um, gun cannon, so stay tuned.